Hey, what's up everyone? So I'm going to do a quick review of the M the latest version of MIUI version 1.2.19. And this is available on XDA developers website under the HTC Evo uh, community. And this is an HTC Evo, by the way. Uh, my, um, let's see, what is the word I'm looking for? I have version 3. Uh, I have hardware version 3, so I don't know... If, you may want to, if you have a different hardware version, um, I don't think it matters in order to root your phone what, what hardware version you have, but I think it matters in certain things that you can do with this, uh, with any ROM, uh, really. So you just want to double check what software version you're running, what hardware version you're running, and you want to check the thread and read as much as you can about the ROM before you flash it. Make sure you follow all the instructions. Make sure you wipe properly, and um, you should have a smooth running ROM after you do that. And it will be in the info section below. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, I, this widget, this clock widget is different. I downloaded it, and it's, I think it's a beautiful widget. I could be wrong about that. I, I, it could either be beautiful widget or, I don't remember what fancy widget is what it is. And it'll include the clock icon with the with the weather uh, icon um, icon as well or w the weather widget as well and these are both just add-ons and once you download the program you can customize it and download new different skins for it as well and so I just give you an idea so I have it set to when I touch the widget it'll automatically go into the clock which is the uh, the the ROM clock and it, but if I touch the weather icon and go to menu configure and if you see appearance setting weather skin and then yeah you can customize it H h7c and um, right now I'm using the h7 or no I'm actually using the d3ll weather and uh, yeah you can use different ones and uh, whatever your preference is but once you get that app you can put that on there the only app, uh, clock type of clock that they give you is an analog clock with the ROM which I did not like. Uh, I really didn't like it because I missed the weather animation that I got with the uh, HTC Sense. And this makes up for it because it's done pretty well, pretty close to what it is. Also what I've changed is, which doesn't come stock with the ROM, is the scrolling feature. As you can see, it's kind of got that box 3D effect. That's in the settings, which is there. And you can set that up as well. You, you know, you, you would definitely have to figure that out for yourself. Um, there's plenty of, of, of settings that you can change and plenty of customization. It took me almost a day to really get the phone where I wanted it to be. This ROM has a bottom launcher, which is very close to the iOS uh, kind of bottom launcher for the iPhone. Uh, I think that it's a cool feature. I think it's nice. A lot of people don't, you know, get a little frustrated about people who turn their phone to the iPhone. I don't think this is an iPhone at all. It's like 10 million times better because of the customization um, that I mean the look of the of the iOS I do like because it's easier and one thing about this ROM is when you download applications from the market it will go directly to the home screen so there's no app drawer or app folder it goes directly to the home screen just like the iOS and you can move it to wherever you want or you can create a folder like I did here for my tools And yeah, you can name it, do whatever you want with it. And at the bottom, there's actually a slider, a slider option where you can slide between screens without having the, as you can see, you don't have to, it, it's a lot quicker. So it completely slides instead of animates to the next screen, which is very, very nice. I, I think that's a cool feature. I don't really use it too often just to show off the ROM. I, this is the only reason why I use it, but I don't really use it, but it's cool that it's there. The pull-down menu has toggles at the bottom. So you can toggle your Wi-Fi, toggle your data, uh, volume, backlight. Everything pretty much is there on the pull-down menu. Plus, you'll still have your notifications with the date at the top, and everything's there. And you can pull that down in any uh, program that you're running, which is also cool that they have that. Very smooth. Uh, the phone has a different type of look to it which is cool very reminiscent of iOS I think it's great very simple and, and very nice uh, what else is there yeah I mean the settings 
you go into the settings, it looks very similar to the iPhone settings or the iOS settings, which, um, like I said, a lot of people may be familiar with if they have an iPod Touch. And it's actually a good thing if it's a little bit like that because you get consistency in your devices and, you know, it's what anyone wants, really. Um, but the good thing is that you're running Android and not, you know, that cookie 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 cutout cookie cutout <laughs> iOS where you can't really customize much unless you you know again you know do some something different to that phone as well so yeah that's pretty much it uh, everything else is is self-explanatory but as you can see it's a very clean running ROM very smooth very easy matter of fact I'll show you a smart bench test that'll kind of give you an idea on what the speed increase you get once you get rid of that old um, sent UI and kind of get with a uh, a ROM that doesn't use it just the type of speed that you can get out of it um, I was getting about 450 to 600 of a smart bench score before and I've ran this about 20 times or so and I've been getting about a thousand consistently so I've, I mean, it's so on the five five hundred uh, increase just alone in this ROM, and that makes up for a lot of better gameplay, better uh, just normal everyday use. The 4G is not available yet. The creator of this ROM is working on it, working on a uh, 4G feature. But and once he gets that, this ROM will hands down be the best ROM out there for sure. Uh, I've downloaded about three or four different ROMs. All of them were great, really, but this one is just tops it. There's, there's no really comparison. I, I'm not really planning on flashing anything else for a while because I have everything set to where I wanted to be. I don't want to go through the hassle of changing everything. So after this runs, I'm gonna see if I have enough time to. This is just what it's going. So yeah, 998 over 1002. One Yep, very a lot better score than I've been getting with any other ROM really. And uh let's see if I can run a game for you guys before my video cuts out. Mm hmm How about that? And uh you can take a look at the processing increase. Before when I played this game I would get freezes, the animation wouldn't be as as, as easy. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so that's the game. You can hold the back button in this ROM and it'll notify you that you successfully backed out of a program. What that'll do is shut off all of its running services as well. It's background running services as well. So if you're in any internet uh, program or any application really you fully back out of it like that makes it very easy all in all I give this ROM a, a 4.5 out of 5 once they have the 4G this ROM will hands down be a 5 out of 5 easily best ROM on out there right now so check it out guys I'll leave thread I'll leave the thread information in the information section below and uh, maybe a few other uh, links to how to root your phone as well Alright guys, take it easy. Let me know what you guys think about the ROM. Alright, later.